Hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you and welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. Uh, as we all know from Monday to Thursday, we come up with the Hindu analysis. Uh, today is 2nd May, that is Tuesday and we are here with the Hindu analysis of Tuesday. So, as Tuesday is 2nd May and we are here with the Hindu analysis. Uh, yesterday was 1st May, that is Labor Day. I hope you are aware. Just have an idea. So generally many of the offices are closed on Labor Day and all. Uh, okay, so uh, let's discuss some of the important articles on the first page of the Hindu newspaper. Uh, which important article we discuss this one. Supreme Court says it can end wait for consensual divorce. This is an important article or ek bagal mein hai. After Bihar Odisha begins uh, after Bihar Odisha begins survey of OBC caste census. So, these two are actually the important articles we will be discussing today. Okay, <coughs> so let's start <coughs> with this one. Uh, be but before that, I am just asking a question. If you have read this article, you can answer this question. Uh, Supreme Court says it can use its extraordinary power mentioned in Article X of the Indian Constitution to grant divorce on ground of irre irretrievable breakdown of marriage if separation is inevitable and damage irreparable. Your options are Article 131, 142, 141, 137. What is the right answer to this question? So, Supreme Court has said that it can grant divorce uh, to the marriage if the breakdown of marriage is irretrievable. Means there is no scope of reconciliation. No scope of reconciliation. Yani, agar maalo husband wife mein ladai ho gaya, aisa ho gaya, koi scope hi nahi bacha hai ab, uh, uh, actually relationship improve karne ka. and separation is inevitable means unavoidable and damage is irreparable yani repair nahi kiya sakta jo dono ke beech ladai hui hai the, uh, the dispute between husband and wife has become so intense that there is no scope of reconciliation rapprochement or improving the relationship and a breakdown of marriage is unavoidable. In that case, Supreme Court will direct and directly use this article to grant divorce and all. So, which article of the Indian Constitution talks about it? I mean, uh, it talked about Article 142. Supreme Court has mentioned Article 142. It can use extraordinary power under 142 uh, to grant divorce on ground of irretrievable breakdown of marriage, right? That is what I have mentioned it. So, uh, I hope you are aware, if you read article 142, it talks about complete justice. Right? It can pass any order or decree to do ensure complete justice in any matter. Okay, that is article 142. Right? To do complete justice for couples uh, trapped in bitter marriages by granting them divorce by mutual consent without waiting the, uh, for them for 6 to 18 months for a local court to declare an element final. So, 6-8 months to directly a order say uh, it can uh, ensure ki marriage should be nullified if there is no scope of uh, actually reconciliation and it could last up but I know actually improve current relationship okay the judgment on five petition include the lead one filed by Shilpa Shailesh in 2014 and all okay uh, the judgment is significant as irretrievable breakdown of marriage is not yet a ground for uh, divorce under Hindu marriage act so, the irretrievable breakdown of marriage is not a ground or reason for the divorce of Hindu marriage act. So, now from now onwards, the Supreme Court can uh, use this reason also, irretrievable breakdown of marriage, as the reason for granting divorce under Hindu marriage act. Okay? This reason can be given divorce if it is required. Irretrievable breakdown means there is no scope of improving the relationship between husband and wife. The situation has reached to such an extent that okay, there is no scope at all. Koi rasta nahi bacha hai ab relationship improve karne ka us case mein. Isko iska ye matlab hua. Thik hai? So that is what it says. So just have an idea about it. 142 par lena because yes, it comes in the news again and again. That this article under article 42, Supreme Court is given extraordinary powers. It has extraordinary powers. As a kaha jata hai under 142 sky is the limit. These are actually uh, the constitutional experts use this term ki. Uh, the Supreme Court has immense power and perhaps one of the article which gives 
the concept of judicial activism uh, one of the article is from here okay i hope you are aware of this term judicial activism so it flows perhaps from article 142 also okay so it gives immense power 142 uh, gives immense power to supreme court okay now let's talk about side article after bihar odisha begins survey of obc caste Take uh, odisha is the second state to conduct the survey after bihar see uh, since actually for many years we were only doing uh, if you talk about india level census so religion based census is done to find out uh, which religious community is how much percentage and only SCST based uh, uh, census is done that how much percentage of scheduled caste is there how much percentage of scheduled tribe is there but caste wise census have not done for many years you understand caste center census that how many uh, person from this caste is there how many person from this caste how many person from this caste is there such type of census has not happened at India level recently Bihar government is actually conducting caste census to find out ki which percentage how much percentage of x caste y caste z caste is there okay and similarly odisha government has become the second government uh, the state government to come up with the concept of caste census to find out how much percentage of which caste is there in that state okay yani kitni pratishat abadi ke kaun se caste jaat ki hai to sab pata karna theek hai kitni percentage hai to aisa caste census odisha ab kara di pehle bihar ne kara rakha hai Central level mein bahut din se nahi hua hai. The last caste census in India, means I am talking about overall India, was conducted in the year 1881, 1931, 1971, 1901. Your time starts now. Batao, kab hua tha? Akhri caste based census kab hua tha? Yes, uh, so actually the last caste based census happened in the year 1931. So, 2 is the right answer to this question. Uh, dekho, kya hota hai? So since 1951 after the independence we are only uh, at India level we are only calculating the percentage of scheduled tribe and scheduled caste not the caste of different states and all okay I mean not the caste of all other uh, uh, like and you understand only scheduled caste and scheduled tribe ke alawa, baki ko caste ka census nahi hai ki how many Brahmans are there how many Rajputs are there how many uh, Yadavs are there this type of caste census has not happened the last which happened was in 1931 and we have the report of that but it is very old and the last one actually it happened in 2011 also but the report has not been made public is not public okay is it clear so uh, if the report is not in public then we can rely only on the 1931 data which is extremely old and if you caste based census then you will have data on 1900 data on 90 rely karna padega so till now since then we have not seen any uh, report at the all india level since 1931 of caste based census so we do not exactly know which percentage of which caste in living in, is living in india kaun si jati ke kitne percent log india mein rehte hain ab isme dono cheez hai theek hai so there are both a support and uh, oppose agreement uh, argument so those who support uh, uh, oppose it they say why are you doing it i mean it will unnecessarily lead to uh, uh, more uh, caste based discrimination maybe those who support they say you know it is important to find out whether reservation is given properly or not there are many ag arguments and uh, dis uh, I mean disagreements and all so we are not going in detail about agreements and disagreement you should be knowing the factual things about it like uh, recently the first state to conduct is Bihar the caste based census and the second one is Odisha just have an idea about that okay yes the concept yes good morning guys good morning everyone uh, the next is melanistic tiger reserve dies in simli pal tiger reserve melanistic matlab melanin se bana melanin is a hormone which makes uh, uh, any animal or human dark colored dark complexioned so uh, perhaps is tarah kuch hoga that uh, tiger that is why they are using this rare melanistic tiger melanistic means the one who is actually dark complexioned tiger you can say so it was uh, uh, it died in Simli Pal Tiger Reserve. So uh, because tigers are very much in the news, I hope you are aware. So please tell me that Simli Pal Tiger Reserve lies in which state of India? Your options are Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Odisha, Gujarat. What is the right answer? Uh, I hope you are aware. First April 1973 ko 
project tiger was launched so recently we completed 50 years right and first april 2023 go so just have an idea about pt that is project tiger and uh, recently pm modi released the numbers also it is more than 3000 and uh, i guess are there in india uh, the right answer to this question is simply pal tiger reserve to bahut famous hai aapko pata hona chahiye the right answer is c odisha is the right answer to this question shayad isme kahin pe likha hua bhi hoga dekho to likha hai nahi likha hai koi baat nahi it is in odisha let me show you here in the map okay here it is simply pal tiger reserve yahan pe odisha state hai and here you will find assembly pal national park or tiger reserve okay so the right answer is c yes rashmi kant oja is right c is the right answer to this question okay uh, before moving on guys we are running this clad 2024 comprehensive course hardly 6 7 months 7 8 months is left i would suggest go for this course 300 plus recorded video 300 plus hours of live session 35 plus mock tests are being provided if you have any question call on this number 9538895678 pe call kar sakte ho okay yes and on 7th may at 6 pm we are organizing a free workshop uh, with abhimanyu sir is it too late to start preparing for clat 2024 so the link is given in the description from where you can register for this class yeah app, app download karo download the app go to clat section and there you will get uh, these uh, this class let's talk about editorial the importance of constitutional punctuality he is talking about punctuality Punctuality means doing things on time. Right? Works per calm karna is kumlo kete punctual. Hai. Jase koi bacha time pe school aata hai, class aata hai, kumlo kete punctual, hai, right? So we are talking about things have to be done on the appropriate time without any delay. So he is talking about that. Now I hope you are aware so he is actually writing an article about the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly passing a resolution seeking to provide time frame for governors to act on bills passed by the state legislature. The motivation that was that that Mr. R. N. Ravi, the Tamil Nadu governor, withheld assent to as many as 13 bills passed by the assembly. And they moved the Supreme Court, MN Telangana government moved the Supreme Court also that the governor should be passing the bill and all. Okay. Uh, nahi, Rashmi Kant, yesterday we did not have the class, hai? because yesterday was first May, na? Labor Day. Tha. Achha, go and find out something about Labor Day. Okay? Go and read about that. Now, dekho, ab jo baat kar rahe, uh, the author is actually talking about uh, the Tamil Nadu Assembly passing resolution urging centre to fix time limit for governor to give assent to the bills. So, actually, hota kya hai? let's say, for example, I am just giving an example. Let's say this is Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly. So this is elected by people, elected by people, common man, right? Now they pass a bill, okay, it goes to the governor and let's say governor is not signing the bill and governor is generally not elected, governor is appointed by president, okay? Now it goes to the governor and let's say governor is not signing it or it is taking a lot of time, there is no time limit. Ki yes, the governor is supposed to sign in 30 days or 15 days or 20 days, nothing like that. Aisa koi time nahi hai. Hai. Okay, so uh, what will happen is if the governor is not signing it, let's say for the next 30 days, and uh, so what will happen? So the democratically elected or the elected body's bill has been blocked by the person who is non-elected or appointed by president. So it is not actually considered as very good in democracy because of course the in democracy the uh, people's will should be there right or the body which is elected by the people should have the more say. ठीक है तो चूंकि तमिल लाडू लेजिस्लेटिव एसेंबली या विधान सभा जो है वो जनता की द्वारा चुना जाता है तो उनका चलना ज्यादा चाहिए मतलब गवर्नर को अननेसेसरी ब्लॉक नहीं करना चाहिए ये सब सिमिलरली तेलंगाना गवर्नमेंट आल्सो पास द बिल इट वाज ब्लॉक बाय द गवर्नर I mean, the governor was not signing it, so they went to the Supreme Court and all these types of things were in the news. Dekho, so, baat kar so that is what the author is talking about. Isili wo word use kare, punctuality. Means there should be a time limit within which the governor is supposed to respond uh, or sign the bill and all. So isi par baat ho thi. Hai? Okay, in uh, resolution passed on 10th April 2023, the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly urged the government and president to advise that within a reasonable time period, the governor should decide the bills. And again, time period ki baat ho rahi hai. There should be some time period, 30 days, 45 days, 60 days. Kuch time hona chahi, usi ke andar governor ko respond karna chahi. 
because of course punctuality is also very important okay and uh, so that is what is being talked about so uh, then other opposition ruled states also pass these bills and all to or we both sorry or we other states may be a resolution pass kia they pass similar resolutions and all in this regard when the constitution was adopted they go now the author is going very much in detail uh, about it like constitutional assembly debates are being talked about article 200 of the constitution uh, so this is actually 200 talks about the governor assenting the bill because when a bill is passed by the legislative assembly and if there is legislative council also in that state so then in both the houses Okay. This is Tamil Nadu, we have only legislative assembly, but in some states we have both legislative assembly and legislative council. Okay. Uh, so, uh, if there is one uh, house, fine, legislative assembly, otherwise both the houses passes the bill, it goes to the present governor, governor can either dis uh, send the bill and he pass the bill, withhold the assent means reject the bill or reserve for consideration, uh, consideration to president or return it back. If it is not a money bill, the governor can return it back to the legislative assembly also. Do bara bhi wapis bech sakte hai, right? So, yeh sab uh, article 200 mein mentioned hai. So, please be aware of it because article 200 is very much in the news. Maybe they can ask this question. Okay, yes. Uh, then the author is talking actually in detail about uh, the uh, constitutional assembly debates. And uh, that what Bhim Rambedkar said. Uh, that uh, can be room room for governor acting on discretion recommended removing the phrase the governor in discretion and all so it is said ki bhim ram bedkar said that the concept of discretion should not be there with the governor okay like for example generally governor is supposed to act on aid and advice of council of minister hum bolte hai na advice of council of minister here means chief minister and the ministers okay okay but see uh, what actually is ki in some cases the so constitution gives some discretion discretion means governor's own choice okay but the uh, bhim rambedkar wanted ki this concept should be removed the governor should not have its own discretion or should not have its own power it should work on the advice of council of ministers only to bhim rambedkar ji ki rai thi ki uh, discretion ka concept hata dena chahiye puri tarah governor jo hai Chief Minister or Council of Minister ke advice pe kaam kari, unki apna koi discretion hai. Kuch kuch cases mein discretion hai governor ko. Okay, so there are some cases in which the governor has discretion. Uh, which actually according to the Ambedkar was not correct and all. Thik hai. Then the author is quoting the Shamshir Singh case and all. Hai na? Wherein actually they talk about that uh, the governor's discretion is extremely limited. Supreme Court also said discretion matab acting on its own. Hai na? Acting on its own without advice of council of minister hai na? without advice of council of minister so bina council of ministers ke advice ke kaam karna usko uh, hum log discretion kehte hain theek hai further the supreme court has repeatedly held that governor shall only act on aid and advice of council of minister supreme court ne kai baar kaha hai ki most of the cases mein governor ko council of minister ki aid and advice pe kaam karna chahiye hai na so the simple and plain reading of article is sufficient to show how the meaning of phrase withhold as and therefore has been I will not detail I am not going in detail uh, because that's not very important for you. Okay. Then he is quoting some other judgments also. Abutna detail nahi jana. Okay. Now let's talk about this one. I hope you are aware this actually was very much in the news. The thing on the Adani group probe will dent Sebi's credibility and all. Take go. Uh, I hope you are aware. See, uh, it was very much in the news in January. Uh, this year a uh, hindenburg report came i hope you are aware of that go and read about hindenburg in detail uh, after the hindenburg report came it put a lot of allegations on adani group and all uh, you must be aware actually it came on uh, i think 23rd or 24th january and since then uh, you can see uh, the actually the stocks especially just after 24th january the stocks uh, fell uh, very extreme i mean uh, Adani group stock went down. Hai na? So, us time per just gira tha, to isli us time per kafi za the news me tha, especially in the last week of January and the first week of February. Uh, it was very much in the news. So, the people filed a petition in Supreme Court, etc., and all. And the Supreme Court had set up a committee also uh, that uh, first it told the SEBI, please come up, uh, I mean, do the investigation and all. 
now the sebi is saying ki we need 6 more months to complete the probe so the date i mean uh, it was till 2nd mai that before 2nd mai the sebi was supposed to actually submit these reports and all but now they are asking 6 more months to unko 6 mahina aur chahiye unhone kaha hai ki humko uh, probe any investigation complete karne ke liye aisa kaha hai so barely 2 days before the expiry of supreme court stability deadline 2 din pehle jab deadline khatam ho rahi thi uh, the sebi has actually hai na dekho likha hoga but the sebi has uh, asked 6 more months from court to finalize its findings to 6 mahina aur manga hai adalat se uh, sebi ne theek hai so sebi has asked 6 more months from supreme court that we need 6 more months to complete the probe okay uh, actually uh, that they are saying yes there are some dual trans uh, suspicious transaction we want to find out about those allegations and all which were raised in head and bug so we need more time मतलब बेसिकली ये कि उनको वक्त ज्यादा चाहिए और फाइंड आउट करने के लिए नाउ सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैड सेट अप अ पैनल आल्सो इन दिस रिगार्ड लेड बाय अ फॉर्मर जज ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट सो हु वाज द हेड ऑफ दैट कमिटी जस्टिस ए के सिकरी जस्टिस एम सापरे जस्टिस आर वी रविंद्रन जस्टिस एस मुरलीधर योर टाइम स्टार्ट्स नाउ बताओ सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो गाइस एवरीवन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल इट इज सब्सक्राइब का बटन दिया उसको दबा देना यस बताओ, yes, uh, actually the, to investigate Hindenburg uh, Adani case, uh, Justice A M Sapre, so B is the right answer to this question. हाँ, Priya Chauhan, very good, do is the right answer. Uh, Adani Hindenburg Rao Supreme Court set up six member expert panel committee headed by Justice A M Sapre. देखो ये मार्च की न्यूज़ है ना? So one or two months back it was very much in the news. हाँ, uh, B is the right answer. Yes, Priya Chauhan, Rashmi Kant, Oja, you are right. Two, uh, yeah, B is the right answer to this question. Okay, and so the two months had the deadline set for SEBI and the expert committee led by Justice A.M. Sapre ends on 2nd May. So the deadline thi wo 2nd May tak logo report jama kar dene thi, okay? SEBI's last minute plea for more time shall also affect, if not affect, uh, derail the deliberation of Justice Sapre panel. So, uh, the author is saying if SEBI is asking 6 more months, maybe the Justice Sapre panel will also take some more time. Ho sakta hai, inko bhi aur time chahiye ki mein SEBI ke report dekho, phir rai do. Ho sakta hai, maybe let's wait for that, ha na? So we are not going very much in detail, just have an idea that yes, they are asking for six more months. Achha, ek aur pata hona Who is the chairperson of SEBI? By the way, uh, she is the first woman chairperson. First woman chairperson of SEBI. What is her name? Kya naam hai? Koi batao yar. So the right answer is actually. Madhavi Puri Booch. She is the first female chairperson of SEBI. Okay. So, you can see your name maybe because uh, SEBI has been very much in the news, so they can ask it. Okay. Uh, now, let's talk about this the script and track of a master storyteller. Uh, uh, he is a retired IS officer and he is talking about storyteller, means he is talking actually more, mostly about Satyajit Ray. Uh, he was a very famous filmmaker, a uh, very famous one. Yes, uh, Sebi ke uh, chairman, chairperson, jo hai, Madhavi Puri Bochi. Yes, Arashmi Kant, you were right. Huh? So, uh, basically, he is talking about that. Satyajit Ray, uh, director, scriptwriter, documentary filmmaker, author, illustrator, composer, etc. Uh, nah. So, he is talking about that, praising his integrity, a British manager, the advertising firm. Uh, nah. So basically, this is not exam point of view, it's important. He's talking about the cinemas and all, so you can read it. Right? Then uh, interview with the film, Akbal Masood, Shatranj Ke Khiladi and all. Uh, then he's talking about different films. Look, there's a show lay. Right? So, uh, let's read something about FTII. Let's read something about FTII. Film Television Institute of India. And it's set up in Pune. Then there is uh, something called as Censor Board. Central Board of Film Certification. Then there is something called as NSD, National School of Drama. Okay. So these all are actually related with cinemas and all. So this is a little bit of a study. FTI headquarter, CBFC, who is the chairperson. CBFC is a statutory body right? under Cinematographer Act. So what is National School of Drama? A lot of uh, actors have studied from there. Right? So this is a basic study. Okay. We are not going in detail because I mean I don't think from exam point of view it will be important. Uh, let's move on further. Political remission, the circumstances of the release of Anand Mohan Singh are unsettling and all. Uh, ye kya hai? Actually, this is related with Gopal Ganj. Uh, dekho, this is a state of Bihar. 
and here you will find a district called as Gopal Ganj. Okay, Gopal Ganj. Gopal Ganj is a district, and in 1994 December, the district magistrate DM, uh, district magistrate, you understand? Collector also called, uh, no. in some states uh, we do not call district magistrate, we call it as collector, district collector, who is uh, an IS officer. So he was actually uh, murdered. Uh, so there is an allegation against Anand Mohan Singh that he was actually responsible for killing of an IS officer, the district magistrate of Gopal Ganj, G. Krishnaya in December 1994. Uh, he was found guilty, sentenced to jail for 14 years, I think, uh, earlier initially. In the lower court, he was given capital punishment. Any phasi ke order hua tha. Capital punishment means uh, hang till death. But later on, the higher judiciary commuted it to life sentence. But the life sentence means the ke liye jail mein hai na. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, there were some rules uh, which were actually changed. Uh, these are what is uh, I mean the recently by the government and all. That yes, after 14 years, uh, you can come out uh, even if it is in the case of a murder of a bureaucrat or a public servant on duty. Okay. This is the rules change. Bihar Prison Manual Rule 2012 actually uh, changed something. It's not in the detail. Just have an idea that uh, they amended Bihar Prison Manual Rule, which actually uh, enabled Anand Mohan Singh to come out of the jail and all after serving it for 14 years. 14 years ke baad. Okay. So that is what you should be knowing. The state's defense that it followed all rules and regulation is no argument at all. So basically, uh, the author is actually criticizing this uh, uh, step of government of Bihar. Okay, so there are a lot of things. Take this, my boss, all these things. Just have a basic idea about it. That's more than enough. Okay, and now, some things you should know. Like for example, prison rules. Like for example, they can be asking if prison, jail, these all are considered as state subject. These are all state subject. Me, I have. Just you should know. Take it. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, go and read about it. Hana. So his wife has moved Supreme Court. Uh, the name of the IS officer was uh, G. Krishnaya. And his wife uh, actually is Uma Krishnaya. She moved the Supreme Court against this release. Okay. So G. Krishnaya, how Anand Mohan and his men killed Gobal Ganj DM. So these are the articles in Indian Express. If you are interested, you can read it. Uh, now the uh, his wife, uh, I mean the DM's wife uh, the, has gone to the Supreme Court. Challenging the release of Anand Mohan, okay? And it will hear the plea on 8th May. So, 8th May ko sunwai hogi. So, let's wait for that. Okay. Okay. Uh, the next one is uh, question number 10. The government bans 14 apps in Jammu Kashmir sites used by terror groups. So, just have an idea that the government, uh, union government has banned 14 apps in Jammu and Kashmir. Just go and, know, and get to know some of the apps. App ka naam khali paal lena ek bar. Okay. Now, this, this is actually consultations on sedition law in final stage, the center says. Now, uh, first of all, please answer this question. Sedition is mentioned in which section of IPC? 497, 124A, 377, 500. What is the right answer? Subscribe like button, guys. Everyone, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel also. Like button press kado, everyone. Yes, what is the right answer? Deko, IPC was made in 1860 and 10 years later in 1870, this section was added under IPC in 1870. Section 124, capital A of IPC talks about it. Yes, Rashmi Kant, Panchadi, Priya, Chavan, you all are right. And whosoever by words, either spoken or written by sign or visible representation, brings or attempts to bring hatred or contempt or excites or attempts to excite disaffection towards the government. That's called as sedition. There's a very famous judgment called as Kedar Nath Singh. Hai na? Kedar Nath Singh versus State of Bihar. 1962, I think, judgment. Hai. Talking about sedition. Hai na? So it gave the concept of DAI. That mere discussion against government or advocacy against government is not enough to impose uh, invoke sedition. When the person is inciting offense against the government, then only sedition can be in, invoked. So that's Kedar Nath Singh versus State of Bihar case. Now, what happened was, I hope you are aware, last year the Supreme Court stayed the sedition law. 
सो वन ट्वेंटी फोर ए को स्टे लगा दिया गया था सुप्रीम कोर्ट के द्वारा लास्ट ईयर इन मई सुप्रीम कोर्ट पुट्स कॉलोनियल सेडेशन लॉ होल्ड सस्पेंड पेंडिंग क्रिमिनल ट्रायल्स एंड ऑल अलाउ सेंटर टू रिकनसिडर द लॉ मतलब सेंटर गवर्नमेंट को कहा है कि आप सोचिए थिंक कीजिए इसके बारे में so uh, that is why it was in the news and the government has said to supreme court that they have initiated process of re examination of 124a means the central government has said ki yes we are starting uh, the process of re examining whether 124a is required or not and all theek okay? and it is in final stage we will inform ki there should whether the we need to bring a new law in parliament and all theek okay? तो क्या एक सौ चौबीस से रिलेटेड नया कानून लाने की जरूरत है सो लेट्स वेट फॉर दैट है ना सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट सेडिशन लॉ एंड ऑल इन मई लास्ट ईयर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्टेट द ऑर्डर बट स्टिल वी हैव सीन इन अक्टूबर द पेटिशनर्स चैलेंज द टॉप कोर्ट दैट अरेस्ट एंड प्रोसिक्यूशन वेर स्टिल हैपनिंग इवन द सेडिशन अकॉर्डिंग टू द पेटिशनर्स दैट इवन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्टेट दैट सेडिशन बट स्टिल सेडिशन लॉज वेयर बींग यूज एट सम प्लेस बाई पुलिस सो दैट इज वॉट द पेटिशनर्स हैड सेड ओके तो पेटिशनर्स जो लोग गए थे अदालत में अक्टूबर में लास्ट ईयर उन्होंने ने कहा कि नहीं उसके बाद भी पुलिस यूज कर रही है ये कानून को दैट इज व्हाट इट इज मेंशन हियर नाउ पेज नंबर ट्वेल्व न्यूज में जापान टू ट्रेन वन थाउजेंड इंजीनियर्स इंडियन इंजीनियर्स फॉर बुलेट ट्रेन प्रोजेक्ट देखो ये तो आपको पता होगा वी आर रनिंग मुंबई अहमदाबाद हाई स्पीड रेल कॉरिडोर सो हेर इज अहमदाबाद हेर इज मुंबई ठीक है ये गुजरात स्टेट है ना तो दिस इज अहमदाबाद दिस इज मुंबई तो यहां से यहां कनेक्ट करेंगे सो वी आर मेकिंग हाई स्पीड रेल है ना सो मतलब वी आर मेकिंग बुलेट ट्रेन यू कैन से एंड दिस इज बीइंग मेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ जापान जापान इसमें हेल्प कर रहे हैं ना आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट है ना तो पता होगा होपफुली ठीक है सो बेसिकली फॉर दैट एक्चुअली द जापान विल बी ट्रेनिंग एंड वन थाउजेंड इंजीनियर्स फॉर दैट प्रोजेक्ट द नेक्स्ट इज अनदर बैच ऑफ वन इंडियंस बैक होम फ्रॉम सोदान I hope you are aware of Operation Kaveri. That under Operation Kaveri, we are actually bringing the people stuck in Sudan back because in Sudan we are witnessing Sudan civil war and all. I hope you are aware of that. We have discussed a lot of times. हम लोगों ने कई बार इसको discuss किया Operation Kaveri and all. ठीक है? तो इसीलिए हम अब इसको detail में नहीं जा रहे because we are aware of what is Operation Kaveri, है ना? We have brought people from Port Sudan and all. Yes. Uh, now, where is Port Sudan located? I have discussed it few days back. Your options are Mediterranean Sea, Red Sea, Arabian Sea, Black Sea. What is the right answer? Sir, को like button press करते जाओ, guys. Yes. Everyone, yes. Port Sudan कौन से सी में मिलेगा? What is the right answer? मतलब Port Sudan कौन से सी के तट पर है आई स्टिल रिमेंबर इफ यू आर वॉचिंग माई ऑल द क्लासेस यू कैन आंसर इट ये प्रिया चवन वेरी गुड द राइट आंसर इज राइट सी बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन है ना तो यहां पे सुदान है ये वेजिटेरियन सी है ये रेड सी है ओके okay? और यहां पर जो है ना पोर्ट सुदान है ओके सो दिस इज ऑन रेड सी जस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट ठीक है The right answer is B. Priya Chavan, you all are right, huh? Panchadi, uh, you all are right, huh? So uh, they are now using C-17 Globe Master also. So this is C-17 Globe Master built by Boeing, and India has bought from USA. Similarly, India uh, we use this also C-130J built by Lockheed Martin. This has also been used in Operation Kaveri, है ना? To bring people back, है ना? ये काफी का बड़ी बड़ी plane होती है ना? Because we need uh, to put a lot of people. कई सारे लोगों को बैठा के लाना है ना? तो बड़ी प्लेन ले जाएंगे ना सो दैट यू कैन से दीज आर एक्चुअली आई मीन दीज कंटेन कैन कंटेन लॉट ऑफ ह्यूमन ठीक है इसी रेस सी सेवेंटीन आपने देखो जब भी रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन होता है ना मेरे में देर इज रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन वी यूज दीज टाइप्स ऑफ प्लेन सी सेवनटीन ग्लोब मास्टर सी वन थर्टी जे जो काफी इसमें स्पेस होता है ना हाँ यस इन ऑगरल आसियान इंडिया मैरी टाइम एक्सरसाइज इन साउथ चाइना सी फ्रॉम टूडे सो बेसिकली हेर इज साउथ चाइना सी दिस इज इंडिया दिस इज साउथ चाइना सी है ना एक्चुअली जो ग्रुप है ना यहाँ पर आसियान नेशन आर देयर द कंट्रीज आई मीन दे हैव मेड वॉट वी कॉल इट एज आसियान नेशन है ना इट्स अ टेन मेंबर ग्रुपिंग नाउ रिसेंटली दिस इज अ टेन मेंबर ग्रुपिंग रिसेंटली वन मोर ईस्ट तेमोर हैज गॉट एडेड है ना ओके सो दीज आर इलेवन मेंबर्स आसियान ग्रुप एंड इंडिया बोथ टूगेदर आर डूइंग इन साउथ चाइना सी 
मैरिटाइम एक्सरसाइज ठीक है दोनों मिलकर मैरिटाइम एक्सरसाइज कर रहे हैं ठीक है साउथ चाइना सीन ओके यस जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट दैट यस द नेवी चीफ एडमायरल आर हरी कुमार इज इन सिंगापुर फॉर द एक्सरसाइज है ना सो आर हरी कुमार एडमायर ही इज द नेवी चीफ ही इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन सिंगापुर तो यहाँ पे सिंगापुर मिलेगा यार सिंगापुर देख रहा हूँ ये वाला ठीक है ओके जस्टिस टी एस शिवंग शिवाग नांगम सॉरी शिवाग नानम इज द न्यू चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ कैलकटा हाईकोर्ट जस्ट नाम पता होना चाहिए रिसेंटली हेज बिन अपॉइंटेड ठीक है तो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट दैट Russia missile attack on Ukraine city in Jos 34 people damages homes so i hope you are aware the russia ukraine war is happening and the sentry hit pavlo hrad so where is pavlo hrad here is ukraine this is russia ye border hai so yahan pe pavlo hrad so i hope you are aware russia ukraine war is happening since february last year so that is why you should be knowing it मैरीटाइम एक्सरसाइज क्या होता है देखो मैरीटाइम वर्ड इज यूज फॉर नेवी पानी से रिलेटेड वाटर से रिलेटेड होता है है ना ओशन सी को हम लोग मैरीटाइम कहते हैं सो इट्स अ नेवल एक्सरसाइज ठीक है उसको मैरीटाइम वर्ड यूज करते हैं ठीक है जहां पे मैरीटाइम वर्ड देखे ना मैरीटाइम मीन ओशन और सी ठीक है ओके द नेक्स्ट वन इज यूजबेकिस्तान प्रेजिडेंट विंस रेफरेंडम टू री राइट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो बेसिकली Here is Uzbe India. This is Uzbekistan, uh, the capital is Tashkent. ठीक है. So basically, uh, uh, they they have done a referendum. Referendum में तो क्या होता है? एक तरह से vote होता है. Means the people vote, है ना? The entire people vote whether we need a new constitution or not, something like that. So the Uzbekistan president has won it, and perhaps they will be writing a new constitution. ठीक है. ओके सो यही है वास्ट मेजोरिटी ऑफ उजबेकिस्तान सेड यस टू प्रेसिडेंट शेफकोत मिर्जावो मिर्जी यो मिर्जी यो ये बिड टू री राइट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ठीक है सो द प्रेसिडेंट वॉन्ट्स टू री राइट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड वेन रेफरेंडम हैज बिन डन द पीपल हैव सपोर्टेड हिम ठीक है तो उनको सपोर्ट किया लोगों ने कि हाँ आप वह कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नया लिखिए ओके सो जस्ट हैव एन आइडिया अबाउट दैट So please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram, and download the Byju's Exam Prep app. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.